Gang, today the plan, Desert Car Discovery. That's what we're doing. All these other streamers are talking about, oh my gosh, the car's great. Fatality. It's awesome. Tons of great features. It's amazing. I love this game. There's no bugs. The game's incredible. I love it. No, I'm going to give you real answers from, from a beginner. These guys are all really good at the game, but the average Trackmania player can be compared to me. And I actually have irrefutable proof to, tell, to, 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 to back this claim up. There's a literal clip of Bren, the guy leading the charge on the Deep Dip 2 climb, saying, don't compare yourselves to us, guys. Compare yourselves to Stealth JT. Playing the map, have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours on this game, and it's still extremely difficult for us. So don't expect to compare yourself to the people you're watching on, on stream. If you need a better comparison, I'm sorry, Stealth, but Stealth, who's also streaming, has played about 140 hours on the map, and he's still not floor four. And he spent, the, he spent more time than me on the map. I think it's safe to say that I'm the everyman's Trackmania player. I think that I am officially right in the middle, just normal at the game. So I think that I might have some good takes about how this car drives, and we're going to get into it, and we are going to figure out the real answers. So let's get into it. 25 maps for us to figure out just how good or bad this car is. I'm excited. So there's some new scenery blocks as far as I know. Here we go. How's it drive? Smooth steering. Okay, back, back to stadium. Oh, it leans like, it leans like rally car on wood. Ugh. I'm sure you can ramp cut the middle there. There we go. So far, it drives exactly like rally. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit less slidey, but instead of sliding, it leans. Which, in my opinion, is an easier visual indicator as to when you are about to lose grip. It's kind of... It's wobbly. I don't like that. It's wobbly. Hmm. I don't know. So far, it's... I, I prefer it in these first couple of uh, tracks to rally. Because rally, you just have to barely steer, and if you oversteer, you just lose all traction. You just start sliding. This, at least, you can see the car leaning, and it kind of gives you an idea. Kind of like snow car, where... Oh, what am I supposed to do there? Is that really it? Am I missing something? Steering on penalty surfaces is extra punishing, or what? supposed to lean on penalty how am i supposed to know that i don't have a reset button bound so we just have to finish this run that's interesting that's a very interesting mechanic okay i'll have to figure that out i think it's really weird that they made that a discovery campaign mechanic maybe i'm maybe i'm weird for that that feels like a weird thing to make prominent on the discovery. It's like wobbling is faster. Got it. So you can just wobble. You can just dance back and forth. That's very interesting. Might make for some fun, like, I don't know. I don't like that. I I'm not a big fan of that. That feels like a weird exploitive mechanic to go ahead and force you to drive in the discovery campaign. Weird inclusion in my opinion, but we get, we 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 move on. I think it drives it's like a hybrid between snow car and rally. It's heavy as shit. Okay. You can't corner at high speed, so you're gonna have to start brake tapping a lot, like uh, like rally, I guess. 
A lot of releasing, a lot of breaking. I felt like with Snow Car, at least, you could still make tight turns, but you definitely cannot with this. It makes sense to teach the mechanic, though. I disagree. I mean, maybe? I don't know. It feels like a strange... It feels like... It feels like a OMG, I found this thing where you can wobble and get less penalty on penalty surfaces. And doesn't... That doesn't feel like a... I don't know. I think with all these other cars, because they're so weird, Nadeo can kind of just get away with adding shit cars to the game. And they're like, oh, well, it's the old car. Sorry, that's just the way it was. We're just trying to bring everything into one place. It's like, yeah, I get that. You know, we're not going to go ahead and change everything, but... B back to the rally car. Oh, AT, nice. Back to my opinion on rally car. Top 21 California. Was I really cooking like that? Damn. I know it's an intended mechanic, but it doesn't feel like it. You know what I mean? It feels like one of those weird exploitive mechanics that you find. Like, honestly, going between the two immediately, like going from desert. Yeah, this sucks. Going from desert to snow, snow car is better. Snow car is more fun. Rally sucks still. I will never like Rally. Um, yeah, I think it's a bug from the old games that they left in. And that's kind of why I don't like these things. Is they're like, oh, it's the old car. This is just the way it is. People have been playing it like this forever and we don't want to change it now. But then they just get away with putting horrible shit in the game. And in my opinion... That's annoying, and doesn't make for a good game. I was sliding like that whole time. All right, I went a little high there. Higher earlier. Higher earlier. Ah! Uh! That's not good. Do the loop, do loop. That's just my take. Maybe that's a wrong take. But. Uh, it's so hard with these cars that you can't oversteer when you have to make these, like, little adjustments. And it's like, well, if... Uh-oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Well, if I make a little left-to-right adjustment because I'm on a bad line, my car is going to fucking flip over. You see what I mean? Like... It's horrible. It, I understand why they're adding them. They're legacy cars. People have played them. They're fun. It adds variety. They're different mechanics. However, it doesn't mean that they're good. It just means that they already existed and you're lazily getting free content from adding old shit that's not fun. A car shouldn't require action keys to be drivable. That's bad game design. And you're bailing it out with a crutch mechanic. I think action keys are good for helping make more precision lines. I think having to use an action key to make a car drivable is garbage. That's just my take. I think it's forcing a mechanic that shouldn't be necessary on, on players. There's the gold. Desert doesn't need action keys. That's good, though. I agree. Desert Desert doesn't need it. However, I do think Rally does, and that's where I get uh, irritated with Rally. Is you need action keys to drive Rally well, and it's like, that's not a fun thing to force on players, in my opinion. I know people have varying opinions about this. It seems to drive on dirt, like, almost the same. It's, like, not really affected by surfaces that much, it feels like. 
Am I crazy? It's very interesting. Snow car's better than this. This is because honestly, oh my god, it's an 08 track. Oh my god, they gave us an 08 for desert car. Okay, so you can't you can't air brake. Yeah, that one didn't feel good. Oh, by 17 hundredths. Am I going to catch this? I am. There we go. Again, no air brake. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. The thing is, you can't, you can't control the car's rotation or dip. It's, you can diagonal jump, but you're just going to roll your car. It's impossible to control in the air. It bounces, it rolls, it's just horrible to control when you jump it. This is, yeah. This is, I'm not even going to play this track. This is a joke. Why the fuck do we have an 08 downhill when I'm driving a car that bounces and rolls like it's a fucking cylinder and I can't air brake? Why? What is the what's the value there? What's the point? No fun. Literally No one would ever make a desert car map and make it a downhill 08, except probably next campaign that's exactly what they're going to do because Nadeo's a fucking bunch of trolls. French mapping. Can of beans bouncing down a hill, exactly. It's unreal. Okay. This isn't a terrible track for this, I think. Obviously, I didn't drive it well. Playing new car and McFucking struggling. Same. It, it's very similar to Rally in the sense that brake taps and releases are very necessary to, like, keep grip and carry speed, even though, like, brake tapping and releasing f feels counterintuitive for carrying speed. But it's very much so the mechanic of this car. Wider. There we go. Okay. There's a gold. I agree. It feels like a weird hybrid of the two. I didn't want to improve. I want X track. I don't hate it. I hate rally. I don't hate this. It's just not good. Oh, watch out. I don't want to crash. Is this just a stadium track? What's happening? Is this like for for new? Are these like new blocks or something that we're seeing? Like I don't. Why are we? Why are we just driving stadium? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a multi lap. Got it. I didn't notice it was a multi lap. Ugh. Yeah, it lo it drives on dirt and plastic and so far like everything it drives on all the surfaces the same. That's how it feels at least. Maybe I'm misinterpreting the way this car works. Okay. It wasn't 17 hundredths, it was 9 hundredths, but still. Look how close I am to gold, man.
Who cares? Crossing it sideways. <sighs> new blocks are cool, I guess. Maybe. How are you liking the new car? Um, I think it is a weird hybrid between Rally and Snow Car. I think it's better than Rally, but worse than Snow Car. And that's my take. I think it's more drivable than Rally, but has some weird quirks I'm not the biggest fan of. Oh, I got a wobble there. I got a, I got a wiggle there on the penalty. Oh, okay. The red arrows weren't lying. It was a sharp turn. This is actually not a bad track. This is actually kind of fun. Up early. Down. Wiggling. So much more speed. That's so counterintuitive. That feels so weird to just slam your car left to right and carry more speed there. But I had so much more speed. That's insanity. I understand you can't like eliminate the two wheel. You know what I mean? Like the car is going to do it. You don't want to change the way it, it behaves on penalty surfaces because then you know maybe penalty surfaces aren't punishing enough i understand there's like hoops to jump through to make this balanced what they shouldn't be doing though is flaunting this you get less slowdown on penalty surfaces when you two wheel it's just not fun like that's not a fun mechanic at all sorry i'm really harping on this but this is terrible like the rest of the car is fun i like the way it drives honestly like the leaning's not that bad. It's a little bit high skill in terms of you have to take good lines and manage your speed and the way you approach certain turns and all of that. The two wheel less slow down mechanic is weird. At least on rally, you it's just like as long as you're sliding. You know what I mean? Um, we're moving on. I'm not doing that anymore. That was an unenjoyable track because of that those two segments really just the one segment or if you lose the speed the track is over for you how long did i spend on that track and i got one run with a clean wiggle Otherwise, the car's not bad. Like, this is not that... This is not horrible. It, it's sort of reminiscent of snow car handling, but not quite as tight. It, it's like snow car handling, but you have to do some rally car releases and brake taps to, like, not roll your car. Tap steering? Well, I'm on controller. Tap steering, there's just no way that that is a thing. Tap steering... Tap steering 30% is an unreasonable request to make a car drivable. Again, I, I just... All the players who are really fucking good at this game and have spent tens of thousands of hours of playing it are going to say, oh my god, this car is so fun. Look at all the cool, fun things you can do with it. And then anyone else is never going to get gold on a track that is mapped even with any amount of skill in, in mind because it's just so unreasonably precise the edging i can do with this car is unmatched that is that's one of the messages of all time see i think i think on tracks where it makes sense to drive this car like something like this like wider smoother turns some interesting jumps even like the those like bobsleigh turns on like the eye on the like grass and plastic and dirt that makes more sense fucking desert car tech like did they just make every type of map regardless of if it made sense for the car and just say look at all the stuff you can do you shouldn't but look at what you can do I love how much speed I lost right there if it's a 44 for gold, 42? Wow. 
in my opinion also it's been really funny to look at the number of players who have played these maps fall off dramatically the further into this campaign gets because it's so ass there was over there was almost seven thousand players on the first map and there's less than two thousand on this map which makes me look like a god when I'm getting like top five California times because just people stopped playing the campaign because it's so horrible. I'm excited to see good community maps come out for this car. Because people are going to go start making maps like old desert car maps and it'll be cool. Alright, there we go. Your improvement in 30 minutes is really big, though. I don't think it's any different. I think I just don't like smooth steering cars, and the more I spe more time I spend, I'm just going to get more comfortable on a smooth steering car just across the board. But it doesn't mean that, like, I'm getting better at this car or the car is more playable. It's just this is how I am if it was Rally or if it was... Where am I going? Straight? Okay. Oh, I couldn't see that sign because of the splits. Yeah, this car is interesting. It it drives this. It feels like it drives the same on like every surface. Uh, okay, I slid out there, which I don't think I've done before. Okay, sleepy time. Alright, pass for some get some sleep. This is absolutely all about smooth steer. There's just no way that that this map is faster without smooth lines. Like, this is why I want to make a video. Because you're gonna go watch Granati's discovery of this car, and he's like, oh yeah, the car's great. Look, car's great. Car so smooth. Look at look at these lines. I can drive with my wheel. Oh, beautiful. So smooth. I love. And then you're gonna be like, "Wow, this car is not fun to drive at all." What the fuck? It looked like so much fun when he drove it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting how all these all these creators who've, you know, spent. Tens of thousands of hours playing the game. It's crazy how they how they love the things that they just get to be better than everybody else at because that's just the way the game works. Not because it's good or fun. All right, Ice. Humble said this was fun. So far, I completely disagree. This is a nightmare. Except for that 360. That was wicked. Doesn't that prove it's fun when you learn it? Um, maybe. But I also think it proves that it's not, it's not very, it, it doesn't feel learnable. No, oh, this is fucking horrible. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so slow. You can't even turn. You can't even turn to try to drive it like rice. <laughs> oh my God. What a joke. You can't even get your car sideways to try to make a turn. It's so slow. You can't... You don't even have a fighting chance. This is a cool-looking map. This is horrible. Somehow, wood makes the car lean even, even more. I thought maybe wood might be a saving grace for this car. It... It is worse. Another another map you have to drive like a grandma. That's fun. That's a good feature. Maps where you just can't steer. Can't carry speed. Drive slow. Fun car. Call it a skill gap. Call it a skill issue. Whatever you want to say to cope with the fact that the car's not fun. And that people who take the time to learn how to drive such an unfun car are going to be good at it. I don't, then I don't care. I don't want to be good at this car because it sucks ass. Top seven California. 
1300 players no one no one wants to drive this there was over i think over 7000 players on the early tracks less than 2000 on the later tracks because it's simply not fun to drive <sighs> this is another example of how Nadeo and Ubisoft don't understand what the community wants in my opinion what is what is the biggest thing happening in the Trackmania community right now? I'm, I'm, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Like like, uh, answer a few questions for me. What's the biggest thing happening in Trackmania right now? Deep Dip Two, right? Okay. And how does that differ from everything else in the game? The rest of the game is what. Precision, driving, race cars, right? This... This experience of, of these precision tracks, sure, it's fun, it's interesting, whatever. It's a, it's a racing game. What makes Trackmania different than every other racing game? It's racing mechanics? It's precision, difficult to learn cars and lines? No. It's... The backflips, it's the bug slides, it's the uber bugs, it's barrel rolling through a wind through a, a gap into a burger where you have to build speed and then jump out onto a slanted dirt platform and not slide off and climb giga hard super tower. It's the stunts, it's the things that are not hard racing that make the game unique, that make the game fun. Sure, it's all centered around racing. But that is not what makes the game unique. It's not why people like Trackmania. And they just keep focusing on the same shit. That's why the eSport has no interest. That's why the prize pool for Deep Dip 2 is... Winners are going to make more money than they... Than, like, if Bren wins, he's going to make more money from Deep Dip 2 than being a world champion. It's because no one fucking cares about that stuff there's other racing games for people who want to watch racing people who care about racing are going to go watch iRacing or f1 actual car racing they're focusing on the wrong aspects of their game and adding stuff like this i get it's old i get it's nostalgia it's part of the community i understand that but this being the only focus they have is just showing they don't understand what they need to do or what they need to be focusing on to improve their game and bring more people to the community. It's not fun. New players aren't going to enjoy this at all. They can add this. They're allowed to add this, but it just needs to not be the only thing that they're adding or focusing on. They just need to have a variety of things going on. And this is all that they're focusing on, is adding these shitty, really fucking hard cars to learn. That isn't going to make new players want to play the game. When, especially next campaign, half the maps are going to be desert car maps, and, no one, and new players can't drive them. And they're going to say, wow, this game's not fun. I'm just not going to play it anymore. There has to be a balance, and there's not. And I love the game, but I'm really fucking frustrated with the state of the game. I have no speed here. This is not good. Adding the 3OG cars is a good idea to get old players back into the game. Again, like I said, Humble, I'm not going to disagree. I, I think bringing back stuff and c trying to uh, kind of bring everything together into one place, make this game the hub of Trackmania rather than splitting people to different titles where they like different things, I like that. But it can't be the only thing they're doing. Trying to revive an old part of the community, that's valid. But it's not going to grow the community they're already committed to the game you need to get more people involved and people are really interested in the game right now and if this is all they're going to come in and experience they're not going to stay that's just the way it is it's not fun for new players and as much as 
this game is all about learning curves and get better and thousands of hours spent to learn the game and it's all high skill and everyone's very gatekeepy about the experience in this community as as welcoming as they are they're very gatekeepy if you want your game to grow and survive and thrive you have to allow new players in and stuff like this doesn't allow new players in it just doesn't And I know Nadeo and no one at Ubisoft or no one in any association with this game is ever going to see this video or this stream. But I don't think that my take is is insane. I'm all for adding stuff because I never would have seen this stuff before. I never played the old track manias. This is cool to see. It's cool to see the history, the culture, the previous, you know, the things that made the game great in the past. But holy shit, it's not fun. Like I'm struggling to get through these maps. If I was brand new, I would drop the game and not come back. I'd go play something else. There has to be a, a balance. <laughs> Competitive Trackmania has a place, but it's not the most appealing thing. Like I said, a balance. You can have Competitive Trackmania, but I think they need to invest in other stuff. A full speed loop is definitely one of the decisions of all time. You have to go up super early for that. It's like it's full speed, but you can't full speed it because you have too much speed to turn. You have to you have to release a tiny bit. This is cool. Yeah, bronze is top six. Not not even bronze. I didn't even get bronze, and it's top six California. That's because no one's playing this garbage. Um. I don't even know if anyone's getting ATs. It's just not fun. This map is better than some of the other ones. Much more interesting. But still not great Desert car full speed is certainly a decision. Very interesting. <coughs> Desert car makes plastic somewhat enjoyable. Uh, maybe. Not a great line. Okay. I like this. I like this concrete... Uh-oh. These concrete bobsleigh spots are, are interesting and, and unique. Bronze, 46 seconds, top three California. It's sad. Sammy made it look easy, and he's on controller. You know, Sammy also has... Sammy also won the last campaign, so he's a pretty good player. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> kind of a hard comparison to make. Well, Sammy's on controller. He made it look easy. Sammy's also goaded. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's such an unreasonable comparison to make. Damn, 35? 
It's like comparing Michael Jordan to a middle schooler, right? Or even a high schooler. It's just, there's a different level of experience going on there. Less than a thousand players on that one. <laughs> You're not samifying with a goofy mustache, huh? Well, this is going to be awful. Desert Car Sausage Tech. They actually just threw together a conglomeration of map styles and threw this car on it. This is actually such a horrible way to showcase this car. What a what an absolute mistake. I can't tap to turn. That's an unreasonable request of a controller player. When you when I can only st I can still only steer 30%. 30% tippy taps is just completely unreasonable to ask. I guess that's yeah. It's it you it, it lets you know that it's good or bad. Like what Wet brother, they literally just okay. This is hilarious. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not even. No, I'm not even gonna give him the silver lining of. It lets you know that it's bad for mapping. Anyone with a brain would have figured out that this is bad for mapping by driving it one time, and then they put it out in an official discovery campaign. Come on. They didn't need to put it out to the masses to test. Drive it one time, and you know that this is a, an absolute mess. You don't even need to drive it. You can just think about it and know that this is going to be a horrible time. <laughs> like, come on, man. I try to be positive about this game, but I'm positive that this is a horrible thing. This is a horrible addition. Oh, we love underwater. Nah, this is... No, nah, this is... They're actually trolling. I'm not even going to play this again. The day they have officially given up on trying. They're actually trolling. What up, Zero? <laughs> no, Nadeo didn't say let's piss off. Let's piss on half of our community. Actually, let's piss on the entire community with this campaign. Oh my god, who the fuck thought that guy, dude? Now I'm just tilted. Now I'm just molding because this is just such an awful experience. And this is all that they're going to do for the next four months. Is this addition to, to the game is their entire contribution to the game for the next four months. This and a 25 map seasonal campaign. <laughs> That's so fucking disappointing. <laughs> that is so disappointing. It really doesn't get more disappointing than that. Oh, new world record. Hazard, new world record on Deep Dip 2. That's the most exciting thing that's happened since I started playing this game today. Biggest highlight. You're so good you got a top 400 in an attempt. Yeah, right? Top 300 in the world, by the way. Uh, is there other campaign? Oh, uh, it's in... I think it's probably free because it's they, it's in the arcade rooms. What an awful way to start a map. In a car you can't air brake. I'll do a little summary of my thoughts after this, but I think it's pretty clear how I feel about this car and the campaign as a whole. At the very least, this is cool. At the very least, this is interesting. 
It's like RPG like. This is a unique map. I'll give them that at least. Engine off. Yeah, this is... A, I'll give them that. That this is a fun RPG-like map. This is a very unique thing to include into a uh, Discovery campaign. I don't know if I played the, the Snow Car Discovery campaign, but the fact that I was able to go get all authors in the Winter campaign having to learn snow car for that campaign. And then when rally came out, I literally said, uh, I know that I want to get all authors on this, but this is a fucking nightmare. I'm not going to do it. I think actually speaks volumes as I was more experienced at that point than I was going through the winter campaign. And then this is arguably the same or worse. This feels like a classic 24. Actually, maybe the last one was 24 and this is 25. I actually haven't paid attention how many black tracks I've played. A little bit of everything. Just underwater is is a is a decision. Ever. Let alone multiple times in a single discovery campaign. Discovery or not, honestly. I manually switched my car camera there. Because I'm so used to playing maps on like RMT where they don't have car camera switch gates <laughs> or like trigger points. Brother. Okay. That's good. No signage. Nothing. Okay. Um, where I have to manually switch my camera. I'm so used to that. This is a long ass track. All right. Wow. So, my concluding. <sighs> I have a lot of thoughts about this. I think, in general, the car is not fun. I think... I think Snow Car is the best. Desert's behind it. And Rally is below that. The car is not great. It's more drivable than Rally. At least you can feel the wobble and start to feel when you're going to lose traction. Where with Rally, you just, all, you just are turning and then all of a sudden you're sideways and you lose a bunch of speed. Rally's horrible. We're not even going to... But that's not what we're here to talk about. I think the car is decent. This Discovery campaign is a fucking abomination. Sorry. They, they actually just tried to make as many varieties of track, regardless if the car was supposed to be driven in situations like that. 
sausage tech desert car just shouldn't have ever been put together. I think the wobble mechanic cutting across penalty surfaces the fuck you say to me, is <laughs> Benja, thank you for the follow. I think the wobble mechanic is god awful and even if it is a mechanic that they couldn't patch out of the car because that's just the way it works, that's fine. Putting that mechanic several times on maps throughout the discovery campaign and shoving it, pedaling it like it's something you have to learn how to do, I think is a mistake. It is awkward. And overall, my opinion about these new cars, we talked about this earlier in the stream. I think adding them is not a bad thing. It's going to bring older players in the community back who liked this stuff from previous titles. That's fine. I think that's that's cool. But doing this can't be the only focus that Nadeo has on their game because this isn't beginner friendly. And if they want to grow their community, if they want the game to continue to grow and, and bring in new players, I mean, they went on the console to bring in new players and then they'd start doing stuff like this, which is the opposite of, of welcoming to new players. It seems like they don't have, they don't know what their priorities are. It needs to be approachable. However, you don't want to take the skill out of the game. I understand that. You don't want to make it completely too easy, and then the, the people who have played the game a lot don't have any challenge anymore. That's fine. I understand that there needs to be a skill ceiling. But making stuff like this and then forcing it into the next season's campaign when a bunch of people are going to try the game is not a good way to retain new players. I think fucking hate these cars they are not fun to drive at all i'm a newer player this is why i'm making this video because you're gonna go watch the discovery of people who have spent thousands of hours playing this game and just have a general mastery of the game that's not a reasonable expectation for a new player you're gonna go watch their video and think wow this looks fun and then you're gonna play the game and not enjoy it and never play the game again when i think Trackmania is a really fun game it has a lot to offer but I think going into it with the expectation of this is a fun thing to do. It's very approachable. It's very fun. And then you're bashing your head into a concrete wall trying to drive a car that you just lack the experience to drive because you were told by your favorite content creator that it's fun and easy. And wow, oh, look, I can drive these lines really smooth. It's unreasonable and it's not fair to a new, for a newer player. So I think for a newer player, this stuff is horrible. I get that it's high skill and it's great for everybody else. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it because I understand why it's in the game and I'm not saying they shouldn't add it to the game. I'm just saying this shouldn't be the only thing they are doing in the game. That's my take. I think that this discovery campaign is fucking horrible. I, I, I just. Sorry, I know that might be really mean to say. No disrespect to whoever, to Tona who made the maps. But there's just so many things in this campaign that I, I get you're putting the car in different situations. Look at all these things. It's just no one's going to make it. No one's going to make a sausage tech desert car map. They're not gonna. So why are you making us play it in the discovery campaign? It's, it doesn't highlight the car. It doesn't show it in a good light, I guess is my opinion. If that's not what you're going for, then you nailed it. Spot on. Bang on. Keep doing your thing. It's just... I don't know. Remember, it's a free update? Everything's a free update because you pay for the game every year. There's not going to be a paid update. This is just the only content that they're adding to the game. Making a sausage tech desert car map. Yeah, but yeah. It's very interesting. Second time he's impersonated Granati, because I know for a fact he's going to make a video about how great this car is. That's just the way it is. Everything's easy for that guy. He's a god at the game. And again, need I remind you of the Bren clip? We'll play the Bren clip in the YouTube video again, just to remind you guys, don't 
just take the word. Don't watch these guys who have thousands of hours, tens of thousands of hours in the game and think I can do that. It's not the same. Four updates a year isn't enough. I don't think that that's necessarily correct. I just think that when you have four updates a year and all you're adding is cars that are not going to be beginner friendly. I think, I think the, the, the moral of the story is their focus is in the wrong place if they're trying to grow their game. If they don't want to make another dime, they don't want to bring on any more players, and they just want to keep the player base they have, they can do whatever the fuck they want. And I think that's what they're doing. This doesn't feel like they want to bring in new players. This feels like their priorities are somewhere else. And as someone who loves the game and I want to see more people enjoy it, that's hurtful to me. There it is. Um, sorry if it was just a mauled fest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Chat, say bye to YouTube. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure you, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all the stuff that's going to help with engagement. Let me know what you think of the, uh, the desert card down in the comments below. If you think that I had some horrible takes, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to discuss and join my stream and we can talk about it more at twitch.tv forward slash sales JT. Check me out, you know, all the things do, do the stuff, but thank you guys again. Have a great day and, um, go play deep dip too, or shallow dip, play shallow dip. It's fun. Don't play this car. It's bad. Peace.